previously on Love After Lockdown. Yeah, where are you from? Australia. Oh my god, that's yeah. cool. Wait, he literally came in matching me. Like, what is that? First of all, she was gorgeous. Hi, my name is Marty Florence. I'm 26. I'm like super family oriented. So something that was a big thing with my ex was that I didn't fit in with his family, but he really fit in with mine. So that became, now that I'm like single and went through that, now it's a priority. It's just opened my eyes to like, okay, you marry somebody, you're marrying their family. So having, you know, that friendly, personable, engaging, just like welcoming, comfortable zone with that crew is important to me. I'm Brett Stein, 25 years old, and I'm a real estate agent from Toronto. I'm looking for someone I can form a genuine relationship with. Funny, smart, cute, and I can have a good time with. Biggest turn on, I don't know, just someone who's being themselves. I don't like when people try and change their personality to try and make the other person happy. So a genuine connection, I'd say. Well, I'd say something that's taken an effect on my dating life is definitely my work. It's 24 seven being a real estate agent in Toronto. And it's hard to make time for other things like dating. Um, so hopefully I find someone that I consider important enough to make that change. Out of the show, well, obviously I'm hoping to get famous and have a show of my own. But no, just would be nice to have a good time, a couple of drinks, and hopefully meet someone that I get along with. Everything you see is what you get. I'm gonna be myself, and if she doesn't like that, then she's not the girl for me. Love nice it. to What's meet your you. Name? Brett. Brett. Marnie? Marnie. Marnie. Nice Marnie. to meet you. Nice to meet you. How's it going? Not too bad. What are you drinking? Um, I actually don't know, but it looks great. Should we do a cheers? We should. Let me squeeze some lemon. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. To the first first date in a long time. Yeah? For me, yeah. Yeah, in a long time because yeah. of quarantine? Yeah, because of quarantine, because of life. Life? How about yourself? You've been dating or what? Like, not really. It's weird. I mean, the past, what, six months we've been in quarantine. It's right. just like, how do we date, yeah. right? It's like social how distance walks yeah. or just over, over texting, but... Right. Yeah. Which I'm not very good at. You're not, not good a good texter. So right off the bat, if that's a deal breaker. Yeah, no, nice meeting you. <laughs> I suck at texting too. <laughs> it's all about Perfect. in person. That's why Perfect I like- Perfect match. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. How We're old are you? 25. 25. You? So I'm 26. Okay. Are you turning 26 An this older year? woman. Are you, did you turn 25 this year? Turned 25. Okay, yeah. nice. January though. January. So what did you do so to I'm celebrate? So I'm an old 25. Yeah. What did I do to celebrate? The season. I guess I didn't have a quarantine birthday, so I got a little lucky. Um, just went out, had a good time with my buddies. A couple vodkas on the rocks and... There you go. Yeah. That's fun. When's your birthday? April 29th. So it was in quarantine. What'd you do? So I live with my siblings and my mom. And it was like kind of beginning of quarantine. Like we were only in it for one month. Um, and they just surprised me all day. I had like breakfast in bed and there was like a scavenger hunt. Um, I had friends stop by and like yeah. there was just all these different things. My favorite thing for dinner and cake and I had just like a spa day. It was amazing. I'm jealous because it, it was amazing. the birthdays I've seen on quarantine have been way better than like normal birthdays. Legit. Yeah. It's like more intimate, more time with family, more time with friends. People actually care. Exactly. Right? And they do things for you. They might, I'm, I saw videos of people like driving by, honking like 15 cars. I have like three people call me on my birthday. <laughs> it's a joke. Okay, so yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like I have never felt so just like humbled and just like loved because right. yeah, we just tore down. There wasn't ex any expectations of like going out or inviting people anywhere. It was just home with my family. Right. And then I've gotten, I got the most amount of messages I've ever gotten. Like you said, family is super important to me. Friends are super important to me. I have the same group of 10 or so friends for the last, I don't know, 10 years of my life. Wow. And we've okay, all so stayed Jewish. super close. I am Jewish. Me too. Are you Jewish? Oh yeah. my God. <laughs> it's a wrap. Call it a Thanks, day. Guys.
big question. Does finding someone Jewish matter to you? I'm just hoping for a genuine connection and with someone that I get along with. And uh, if my mom happens to approve, that's a icing on the cake, right? Right. So, but I, I'm not limiting myself, really. Right. And you? I mean, yeah, like, it, is it a priority of mine? It's not a priority, but it's like, you know, maybe top 10 of it could be a thing. I took a little tour around J-Swipe, but I'm on the big three, as they'd call it. You're on, uh, is Tinder? I haven't been on Tinder. I heard it's, it's, I don't know, it's they, rough right now. They, my thumb is getting a huge workout here. Right, left, right, left. Honestly, I don't really use it to meet up with people. It's more of like a boredom kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, that's why actually sitting in the flesh across from an actual female that, like I said, isn't my mom is a huge plus and she's cute too, everybody, ladies and gentlemen. Stop. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> I know, isn't this nice? It is. Finally, like, quarantine was rough. Yeah. So rough. Like, I'm such a people person. Like, I'm audience coordinating and I'm dancing for and I'm teaching Zumba. Like, I'm so, you know, people oriented and quarantine just took that all away. Right. Um, Tequila? I'm so into tequila. Tequila! <laughs> Please, someone? Are you ready? I am. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Salt, then tequila, then lime. Is it your first and time? And first we cheers. <laughs> it's my first time for Oh my everything. god, l'chaim. L'chaim. <laughs> Salt? That was, the, that was tequila. <laughs> that was in Woo! tequila. Oh it was yeah, delicious. so good. It was delicious. Mm. Sitting down, you're bored. You just want to have a relaxing night. Is there a movie that you just throw on? Can you okay, throw one at me? This one's super random. Are you ready for it? Yeah, I'm ready for it. She's the man. She's the man. She's the man's a good movie. You've seen it. She's the man. Are you kidding me? Amanda Bynes. Amanda Bynes, soccer, Channing Tatum. Are you out of your mind? It's of the best. My yeah. family's obsessed with it. It's a good movie. It's Listen, amazing. it's a, it's a, it's what the uh, people would call a chick flick. Mm-hmm. And listen, for all intents and purposes, if that's a chick flick, then I'm a chick. Okay, now, so what are your like hobbies outside of work? Watch some sports when they're on. Mm-hmm. Thankfully, now I've been there's that's been one of the voids in my life. One of them has been the female interaction. The other one has been sports. It's just two. Female interaction and sports. Sports was filled today. And guess what? The female interaction was also filled today. This may have been the greatest day of my life. The greatest, thank you. No, please, 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 keep clapping. Please, yes, thank you. Like I have such an amazing connection with my friends, with like my core group of friends. Mm -hmm. Like they all tell me, when you want to see this girl more than you see us, you know you've found somebody that you want to spend time with. Right. right? And that's, you know, like I said before, it's a genuine connection. It's when someone's not afraid to be themselves in front of you. And, uh, but you can't force it, right? Exactly. You have to let it happen. Yeah. And, you know, you never know. You never know. Exactly. I had an ex, uh, we dated for two and a half years. And we were like best friends. It was 2016 to 2018. What happened? (laughs) A lot of things happened, uh, but we were in love. Like I was obsessed with this right. guy. First love. He was, yeah, he was my best friend, and I'm kind of nervous to like, you know, find that again. Like I don't yeah. know because it was so outstanding. But how come it didn't work out? It was a mutual breakup. It needed to end. Like, would he say the same thing? I think so. Okay. I think so. But we actually only saw each other once a week. Yeah. Once a week for two and a half years because I was so busy, he was so busy, Um, but it actually made it special. Like the times we did see each other was like, oh my gosh, I've been waiting all week to see you. It was amazing. at the same time- Older couples have told me that like, I wish my relationship was like that. Yeah. Sorry, continue. But but then again, when you move in with someone and you switch from once a week to every single freaking day- Especially in quarantine, every single second of every single day. uh, (laughs) I've heard from a lot of people that this, time during quarantine has been a lot. In a relationship, in a girl, what are some things that like 
you need and some things you cannot stand. It's a, it's a balance between being fun on a night where it's just me and you going out and having a good time, but also knowing that if I brought you home to my family, that you would be able to contain that fun side of yourself and be able to present yourself as someone that my parents would love to see me with. Family loving values and all that kind of stuff. Get a girl that can do both. Exactly. Right. Exactly. What about like physical traits? What do you look for? Physical traits. <laughs> um, if I finish this drink, which I will. <laughs> then you're going to... I'd say, you know, um, you are extremely attractive. Thank you. For sure. And um, I mean, that's super important. It's super important to be able to look at someone and be like, you know, you want to be with them, whether it's eating sushi or watching a movie or whatever it is, right? How about you? Deal breakers. Deal breakers. Um, I mean, like a sense of humor and yeah, super family oriented. I'm really funny, by the way. Yeah. Like, extremely funny. Extremely. Yeah. yeah for I've sure. caught a few laughs from you <laughs> this evening, for sure. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, like, works hard, is super passionate, put together. <laughs> it's me. Um, yeah, but um, I'm just figuring it out. Like, yeah. I, I'm super open, and um, yeah, it's really, like, about the emotional connection, yeah. for sure. Okay, so we have to go into celebrity crushes. Who's yours? <laughs> when I was younger, I was a big Jessica Alba fan. <laughs> She's stunning. Yeah, stunning. Now, right, I think I've, I'm a little too young for her, even though I would, I, I do enjoy being with an older woman. Um, now, my celebrity crush, honestly, I'm a, because I'm a sports guy, I'm going with Eugenie Bouchard. You know Jeannie Bouchard? Sounds so familiar. Yeah, to tennis see player. Okay, okay. Cute. I've DM'd her maybe 15, 15,000 times. Stop, yeah. that's hilarious. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She hasn't responded yet, but I'm pretty sure that the next time I DM her, she will respond. I've actually met a bunch of celebrities. Like, I've worked for TIFF and like just- I've worked for TIFF I've been before. a background actor in a lot of things. I met Jennifer Lopez Me at too. the Hustlers TIFF premiere. Lit, yeah. love it. I was security. Okay. Yeah. I was um, working with The Hollywood Reporter. Big shot over here. Yeah, it's here. security. Over okay. Here. <laughs> I mean, off the top of my head, like Chris Evans, Chris Pine. Chris Evans. Chris Pine. People say I look like Chris Evans, Chris Pine, Chris. The other Chris. Like you, but... yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, you do. You do. Um, I get, I get Kate Hudson. I get Noah Cyrus. You do Cyrus. look like Kate Hudson. If I was blonde, right? Oh. I get Noah Cyrus. I don't know who that is. Okay, Miley's little sister. Okay, don't know who that is. But uh, but I know who Kate Hudson Kate is. Hudson. You do look like Kate Hudson. Thank you. Okay, so what's like the worst hookup or like date story that you have? Sometimes you meet someone and you go out on a date and you're having a good time, but you're having a good time because you're drinking these. And uh, by the end of the night, maybe you haven't had enough to eat and maybe you have just had too much to drink. And that ends up being a horror story in itself. Right. Like, what's your perfect date for if the vibe, let's say, let's say first date, the vibe is amazing. You gotta play hard to get. Like, you gotta be classy as well. If you think the guy is just a hookup, maybe, right? But if you see a long, like, my ex, we dated, we went on 10 dates before actually hooking up, which was crazy to me. I've never done that before, but it was unique. We really got to know each other on a deeper personal So I have level. a lot, I have a lot to catch up to here. Yeah, exactly. I have a lot to compete. But if it's a guy that I'm like, mm, I don't know if I'd date, but I'd hook up with, then maybe the second time. Second date. I don't think the first time. Yeah. Never the first. Have you ever gone home with a guy on the first time? I'm sure I have. You're sure you I'm, have? You have. I'm, I'm 26 and I've been hooking up since I was 17. Yeah. I have three categories. Either you're a guy that I would not hook up with at all, you're a guy I'd hook up with, or you're a guy I'd date. And I've met so many people, and I think most, not most, 
Like, there's so many that like I'd be friends with, but there's so many that like I would just hook up with. Oh. It is extremely rare for me to find somebody I would actually date. So what's the difference between someone you'd hook up with, like on the second date, and someone you'd actually date long term, bring home to the family? What's the difference? You know, the guy I'd hook up with is like he's cool, he's nice, he's sweet, but our personalities don't click. I kind of compare everyone to my ex. It's kind of bad because we got along stupid well. Your ex is killing me here tonight. We're not together and we're not going to get back together for sure. Definitely just looking forward. Well, if you're looking forward, I think we should look forward to the next bar because I think this bar has run out of vodka <laughs> and we should go ahead and go somewhere else. Okay, I'm down. Think Let's so? do a final Cheers. drink. Ladies first. Mm. I thought that went fantastic. Uh, my first impression of Marnie, good girl, fun girl. I think we would have a really good time together. You know, Marnie was a girl that was a little bit different from most of the girls that I've been going out with lately. I think that uh, we would get along with each other. I think that our families would would get along with each other and it could possibly be a really good connection. I'd say something about her that stood out to me would be some like her confidence, um, being able to say what's on her mind when she wants to. That's definitely a turn on for me. I think he's cute, but he's a little bit conceited. Like just, when I first saw him, I thought he was like, you know, cute. And you know, he seemed like he has like a friendly face. Again, good for real estate, great, good for TV. But it just, yeah, it got to more into the date, and it was just like he was kind of cutting me off a bit with what I was saying. And I mean, he means well, and like it's sweet. He's like looking for you know a girl, but um, it just seems like he's like getting girls every week, and that's my <laughs> that's my thought. I could t- I I know vibes. And I'm such a people person that he's not someone I would see again. I mean, interesting. Good for him for like feeling confident, doing his thing, being in real estate, having that face for real estate. Good luck, buddy. But like, (laughs) yeah. (laughs) So something that stood out was like, we connected on our Jewish side, but then, you know, that can only go so far, right? It's like, okay, cool, we're Jewish, but what else? So what I was missing from this date was kind of like that humbleness, but also the listening aspect. Hey, what are you up to? What are you What are you doing? Like kind of an interest in me instead of an interest in himself. How are you? What's up? Not too much. <laughs> we match. We did. This. Pretty good date. Black and white. Black and white. Do you want to see me again? I would love to. Really? That's so cute. <laughs> kind of cute from time to time. You think you're cute, eh? Would you see me again? Potentially. Potentially? Like, how much potential do you think there is for us to see each other again? Like, I don't know. We gotta... Well, don't be shy. <laughs> Speak up. Um, like, I mean, maybe, like, you know, we're going to the next bar. Like, we'll see, we'll see how things go, you know? Yeah. Next time on Love After Lockdown. Do you think you're hot? I have my moments. But no, I don't think I'm like, I'm like, not like a hunk. 